Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the Colpitts oscillator circuit. So before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel for more such videos. Colpitts oscillator circuit consists of an LC resonance sub-circuit connected between the collector and the base of single stage transistor amplifier producing the sinusoidal output waveform. The Colpitts oscillator circuit is similar to the Hartley's oscillator. The only difference is the center tapping of the tank sub-circuit made at the junction of the capacitive voltage divider network. Colpitts oscillator uses a capacitive voltage divide network as its feedback source. Capacitor C1 and C2 are placed across a single common inductor. This forms the tuned tank circuit. The capacitor C1 and C2 are connected in series and act as the voltage divider circuit. When the power is applied across the capacitor C1 and C2 are charged up and then discharged through the coil. The oscillation across the capacitor are applied to the base emitter junction. The resistor R1 and R2 provide the stabilizing DC bias for the transistor in normal manner. The remaining capacitor act as a DC blocking bypass capacitor and to obtain the high reactance during the frequency of oscillation, a radio frequency choke is used. To determine the frequency of oscillation for the culprit oscillator, we can calculate by the following equation. C of t is the capacitance of C1 and C2 which is connected in the series. We will design a Colpitts oscillator using 2N222 transistor uh, and we will simulate this using multi-sim tool. The value of C1 is 24 nanofarad and the value of C2 is 240 nanofarad. The capacitor C1 and C2 are connected in parallel to the inductor of 10 milli henry. So the frequency of oscillation for the Colpitts oscillator can be calculated from the following equation which would be equal to 10.8 kilohertz and the value of the capacitance which is in series will be equal to 21.82 nanofarad. We will start the simulation and the circuit design of the Colpitts oscillator circuit using the NI multisim tool. Now to place the component in the schematic window, click on place, click on component. Select the group as basic and then select the capacitor value as 24 nanofarad and place this on the schematic window. Again, click on the schematic window and place a 240 nanofarad capacitor in the schematic window. Next, select the inductor from the family list and then place a value of inductor as 10 milli henry in the schematic window. Now again select the family as the capacitor and place a capacitor value of 0 0.1 microfarad. Next change the group to the transistor and select the transistor 
as 2n222 and place this particular transistor on the schematic window. Next select the group as basic and place the resistor value of 10 kilo ohm on the schematic window. Next place a 300 millihenry inductor for the high reactance during the frequency oscillation. Now the resistor of 10 kilo ohm and the 44 kilo ohm provide a stabilizing DC bias for the transistor in the normal operation. So place a 44 kilo ohm resistor in the schematic. Similarly place a resistor value of 1.5 kilo ohm across the emitter terminal and also a capacitor value of 0.1 microfarad. Connect all the components, the inductor L2 to the resistor R1 and from the inductor L2 to the collector of the transistor. Connect the resistor R1 to the resistor R2 and the capacitor C3 to the R1 and R2. The base of the, the, base of the transistor is connected to the R1 and R2 node and the emitter of the transistor is connected to the resistor R3 and connect the capacitor C4 to the resistor R3 and from the resistor R3 to the resistor value R2. Connect the inductor L1 to the capacitor C2 and from the capacitor C2 to the resistor R2 and connect the bottom of capacitor C1 to the capacitor C2. The capacitor C1 is connected to the inductor L1 and the capacitor C3 is connected to the inductor L1. Click on place and select the component. Now select the value of capacitor as 0.1 microfarad and place this particular capacitor on the schematic. Now connect the capacitor C5 to the node L2 and from the node L2 to the node between L1 and C1. Click on place source and click on power sources, select VCC, click on OK, place this particular VCC on the schematic which is between
between R1 and the L2. Now, now change the value of voltage to 12 volt and click OK. We must also place the ground connection. So click on ground, place this particular ground on the schematic of the circuit. We must place an oscilloscope to measure the output of the Carl Pitts oscillator circuit. So click on simulate and select the instruments as oscilloscope. Now place this particular oscilloscope on the schematic. Connect the output of the circuit to the channel A of the oscilloscope and then to the ground. Run the simulation. Double click on the oscilloscope and change the time base scale to 200 microseconds per division and the channel A scale to 2 volts per division. You can see the Colpitz oscillator circuits output. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for more such videos.